My name is Brad Humphreys, um, I'm a Boran dance teacher. I've been teaching since I was about 18, 19, um, but I've been dancing since I was eight years old. My grandmother took me to a dance competition. I didn't want to go, I didn't want to dance, I thought, no, nah, boys don't do that. I just wanted to play football. She took me in and I saw it and uh, I thought, that's pretty cool, I'm going to do that. From the age of eight, that's when I decided, yeah, that's what I'm going to do forever. Today we have so many technologies that make us feel connected, but face-to-face -face experiences are, are becoming more rare. And I think dancing is such a unique activity to do that you can connect with someone in a nice casual environment, move bodies together with music, and you really build up that human contact again that is kind of missing sometimes in our society. For me, and I've seen uh, a few cases of this. It helps physically with your stamina, but also mentally. My first dance teacher, she's probably in her late 70s, maybe early 80s now, and she's still going. She's still dancing, teaching. So it does really help the body keep moving and the mind keep thinking about it. Sisi,Yantik 有你自己想得到的東西 Sings almost my entire life right now, so I love the music and I think that's a big part of it. Out on the dance floor listening to the music, just expressing myself to that music uh, is quite in incredible. It's a really, it's a different feeling. It's just a beautiful sense to be able to perform for someone and someone in the crowd that doesn't know you has this warmth about you and they've never spoken to you before.